NCAA tournament because you, the scouting reports are so deep on, on the teams that you're playing? Um, yes, it is. It's, it is different because you play these teams numerous times and you've seen them play at a conference. So it is a little different for us to team play. X is uh, the coronavirus and the potential impact on tournament play. Has it been discussed in the locker room at all or no? Um, yes, it has been. Would you, how, how can you describe those discussions? Concern or just kind yeah, of Yeah, that's concern. I mean, are you guys concerned about it? Uh, right? You're concerned about it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're humans like you guys are humans, so of course we're concerned about it. Um, the stuff that happened with the Ivy League, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sure. is, um, plays a part. Um, with fans not being there, I'm not sure what's going on. Right. Like, these are just rumors that I'm hearing, but right now I'm just staying focused on my team, making sure that I'm there in the right mindset, and um, hopefully um, that stuff gets recovered so, every, so the basketball world can go back to the regular basketball world. Right. Have you thought about or been, or been advised to, to change any approach as far as, you know, you guys slap hands with fans, running out of the tunnel, or sign uh, I'm definitely going to keep my distance, um, not just from fans, but from a lot of people, as far as just the touching process, because mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm obviously not a doctor. I'm not sure who has it or who can identify who has it or anything of that matter. But just to be on the safe side, I prefer to keep um, germs to everyone else. I'll wash my hands more frequently, do small things like that. Hopefully fans don't take it um, um, as a negative if I happen to give them a fist instead of a high five mm -hmm. or things of that matter. But it's just more about for my health. Thanks. Interesting time. to It's unprecedented, so you guys are kind of the first people to have to, to deal with it. I mean, that you look at big picture, like how this is going to affect basketball overall, or just try to keep focused on what you guys are Because I know everybody's being asked this question today. I'm um, definitely going to focus on both. I'm um, focused on my team and the things I can control. Um, just sending prayers out to those families and just the world as far as the coronavirus that is spreading. Um, hopefully it can stop so it can um, stop spreading so um, the basketball world can get back to us more. And, um, but it's definitely um, an infection that um, is affecting a lot of people. Juwan said he was going to talk to you guys, I guess, about this, just like basic things like washing hands, things like that. But do you guys talk about it amongst yourselves? Yes, we definitely have to talk about it amongst ourselves. As a guy who's been through these tournament runs before, you know, what experience can you really draw back? Is there a time that you can remember when there's a Big Ten tournament that, that you know you can take into this one this year with the different team you guys have? Um, just staying locked in and staying focused. Um, those are the things that um, when I was – uh, my, first, my first and second year when I was under the umbrella, Zach Irvin, Derek Walton, Duncan Robinson, um, Mo Wagner. When I was under the umbrella, they was just so focused and made sure we stayed together. Um, there were a lot of ups and downs in those seasons as well, but they made sure we stayed together and stayed locked in, which was very important. You know, so the guy who knows that the one and done season is here, I mean, the Big Ten tournament it can certainly help seeding and stuff like that, but you guys just mostly focus on just trying to get the championship, right? We're focused on Rutgers. Today we're focusing on today, getting better today, uh, while we're trying to execute the Rutgers game plan. That's our only focus, taking a step at a time.